I'm Jonathan Block, Associate Curator of Vertebrate Paleontology at the Florida Museum of Natural History at the University of Florida. In our study, we describe a remarkably complete skeleton of an extinct mammal from 55 million years ago in Wyoming. And uh, while in the past we'd had examples of skeletons of this kind of animal called the Apatomyidae, they've been squashed completely flat in terms of their preservation. So one of the things this skeleton allows us to do is to focus in on the cranial anatomy, which has been very difficult to do in the past from, from previous specimens where the skulls are crushed completely flat. And the reason the preservation is so fantastic is that these are uh, animals preserved in freshwater limestone. This allows us to look at the detailed anatomy of the skull, and we did that using high-resolution CT data. And the technique that we used to extract these out of the limestone was using formic acid. So we actually used acid to etch away the limestone, and it sort of eats away the rock preferentially and leaves the bone behind. And so this allows for preservation of very delicate structures of the skeleton. And it's a really excellent technique for extracting fossils from limestone. So these skeletons are important because they allow us to better understand the position of this animal with, in relation to other animals that are alive today or have lived in the past. Apatomyids, they do have some similarities to living primates, tree shrews, and flying lemurs. And uh, any studies in the future about primate origins and early primate evolution should take into account the anatomy of the skulls of these animals. This research was supported in part by the National Science Foundation. And if you want to learn more about our study, you can go to the uh, website for the Zoological Journal of the Lanann Society, where our paper was published. And, uh, and it should be available online uh, through your library.